Hey, we spoke with Franklin Police about what you can do to avoid becoming a victim of a police impersonator. News 2's Julie Edwards has more. Just because someone has a badge on their belt doesn't necessarily mean that they're a police officer. So the question is, how can you tell a real law enforcement officer from an impersonator? One thing to do is ask for a second form of identification. I also have a photo ID that shows that I'm a police officer. On, on this ID, it actually has a photo of me. It shows my name, my rank. A real police officer will never, ever become upset about authenticating who they actually are. And let's say you see blue lights in your rear view mirror. A single blue light placed on a dashboard is probably the sign of a police impersonator. They can be purchased at the store or even downloaded on your smartphone just like this. So on a real unmarked police car, you can see that there's a wide variety of installed lights. It's not just a light thrown up in the dash. These are professionally installed lights. If you're being pulled over and you're in doubt, turn your flashers on, acknowledge that you see the officer behind you, slow down to a very minimal speed, and pull over into a well lighted area. Sergeant Warner also says to call 911. 911, okay. what's the location of your emergency? You should ask the dispatcher if they can verify an officer is pulling you over. And let's say you're working at a business and someone who claims they're an officer demands special treatment. Police officers are servants of the public. Anyone that goes into a business demanding special treatment because of their place in the law enforcement community is either not with the law enforcement community or shouldn't be. In Franklin, Julie Edwards, Nashville's News 2. Good advice. We have a list of all these tips on our website at WKRN.com.